Hey guys, what's up? This is Brian Easy, just coming back to you guys today with a quality test comparing onboard audio versus external USB sound cards. So basically guys, I've got a Realtek ALC898 uh, onboard audio and I've done the tests with it. Basically, uh, the output on it is pretty weak. I've got the output volume maxed and my headphones, I can hear it. The, you know, the quality's good, but the, just the amplification's not there. And the input, guys, the input is pretty damn bad. Like, there's lots of noise with the onboard audio. So anyway, guys, let's check this out. Realtek versus a cheap bundled uh, Sony external USB sound card thing. So if you want to check out what that specifically is, you can check out my microphone view. It's $45 and you get a microphone, a USB sound card bundled all into this package for $45. So it's basically like a $10 sound card. So and that has a lot better amplification. Anyway, guys, I'll let I'll let your ears do the de deciding, and then after the test, I will come back and do some more commentary on why and you know what's good about onboard audio, what's good about external USB audio. So let's hear the test, guys. And one more thing is when I'm touching the computer, it's earthing it to me, and when I'm not touching it, it's not earthed. Okay, so this is with my power supply not earthed. Okay, guys, enjoy. Final pass for this biatch. So quiet test now with no touching. With touching now. With touching, no touching, with touching. Okay guys, now we've maxed the volume out. So max on both settings, max, max on both channels. And now this is no touching. Max on my Razor Car Chaos, Razor Car Chaos here. This is from my USB external. Now we're going to touch the computer case and see how much noise is coming through. So touching, no touching. And as you can tell there guys, the basically the onboard audio, the microphone input is horrible. There is just so much noise. You can hear it even when I'm earthing my computer to myself. The noise, the hissing noise is still there. So if you guys want to do commentaries or record anything and you're serious about it, then you may wish to go with a USB external sound card. Uh, why would I recommend external? Because, yeah, you know, you're not going to suffer as much noise from inside the case. But, you know, obviously there'd be some, you know, anything's better than onboard audio, in my opinion. Onboard audio is kind of like a Ferrari with a one liter engine. You know, it's got the DACs, it's got the converters there, it's got the ADCs there, and they're real high quality. They're 24 bit, 192 kilohertz. They're really good quality. The signals are really good, except the amplification sucks. You know, my headphones have max volume, and, you know, I can, it's just normal, normal volumes. You know, I can't, if I want to hear things, you know, more in depth, I can't turn the volume up to hear people better if they've got weak output on their videos. You know, for instance, that's just a big thing to me. So, basically, the output on this Sony, you know, $10 thing, this $10 USB sound card is the noise for input is a lot better. And basically, the output's 50% more. And so, that's just a cheap Sony USB sound card. So, basically, what is the onboard audio good for? It's good for, I guess, if you've got a home surround sound system. Uh, like I do, and you know, I, I watch Blu-rays, I'll plug, you know, movie off my computer, uh, and then watch it on the Blu-ray system, and you know, it'll send out a quality signal, and then my Blu-ray player will amp it, my Blu-ray surround sound system will amp that signal, so yeah, if you, you know, for signals, it's really good, but for amplification, the thing sucks, onboard audio sucks for amplification, so that is my review, and that's what I found, guys, I did the tests, I did lots of tests extensively, I did all these things to eliminate noise, and, you know, I did a big thing on how to reduce static and hissing if you've got onboard audio. So if you want to check out that video, please check it out. And if you're wondering what I'm talking on at the moment, I'm talking on a Beyringer B1 through an M-Audio, guys, mic preamp. So this is actually a pretty expensive setup. It's $150, but, you know, if I stop and pause, you can probably hear no noise at all except my heater or my birds in the background. But anyway, guys, if you've got any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And, of course, if this video helped you or any of my other videos help you, then please subscribe. It helps me a lot. And peace out for now, guys. Bye.